Hey everyone, it's Cassie from Elementor. In this video, I'll go over how to create customized headers. Tired of being stuck with a particular header limited by your theme? Now you can edit and design any aspect of your header using Elementor on any theme. The header template lets you easily design and edit custom headers, offering all the easy drag and drop Elementor functionality. Create headers using our pre-designed blocks or from scratch. Let's head on over to Headers. To create a header, first we'll need to make a header template. By the way, check out these updated tabs, Header, Footer, Single, and Archive. We'll focus on the header. See other videos to learn about the other tabs. So in the WordPress dashboard, under Elementor My Templates, click Add New Header. Choose Header. Give it a name. If you don't name it, it'll just give you a default name. This opens the template library offering a variety of customizable blocks. Choose the header template block and insert. Once added, you'll see the header block in the Elementor editing screen, where you can customize it as you like. Your entire header area is edited right here. You can extend it however you want, like adding a top bar. There's already a widget in the block that displays the logo you added in the customizer. If you do not see a logo, it's because you didn't add one. You can go to the customizer and add it, or use a standard logo image. Now in case you've never done it, to set your site's logo on WordPress, use the WordPress customizer. From the customizer, choose Site Identity, select a logo, and then crop it, and publish. And refresh, and there you go. Magic! Now you see your logo. Now your logo is fed from your WordPress setting. Customize your logo as you like in content and style. Let's move on to editing the navigation menu, Nav Menu. On the right, click the Nav Menu to open the content options. Under Layout, you can see we have two menus here. If you already created your menus, they will appear here. Otherwise, go to the Menu screen to create your menus in WordPress. You can tweak your menus here name them, and check the settings you need. Don't forget to save your menu. Back in Layout, choose the menu that you want. Now you can design your menu, adjust the alignment, set the pointer style and animation, etc. See the Nav Menu video for more info. I want to demonstrate that there are no restrictions when designing the header. Of course, you can change the style. Play around with the settings there. To show this more, let's add a separate section to serve as my top bar. Add a two-column section. Let's drag in a heading widget and some social icons. You have the full Elementor functionality and flexibility to change anything. Drag in whatever you want, a button, links, phone number, and you can change the color, resize it, etc. Want to make your header sticky? Under Section, go to Settings, Advanced, Scrolling, and turn the sticky on and click Publish. Check out the new display conditions. Under Include, add a condition from the drop-down menu. Choose entire site or a specific page. You can also add Exclude, where you exclude it from a particular page. Let's try Singular and exclude it from a 404 page. You can also save without conditions. Press Have a Look to see it live. Now if you visit any other page in your site, you'll see the same header. You'll notice here that we expanded the Edit with Elementor button, so if you hover over it, you can access your new header. Back in WordPress, Elementor My Templates, Header, you can see the header that you just created. Here you can edit it or delete it, etc. Be aware that some themes automatically delete the footer when adding a customized Elementor header. No worries, the solution is easy. Just create your own footer using the same flexibility you have in Elementor. So enjoy Elementor's header template. And get off on the right foot with footers, too. See the next video to learn how. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel.